Hi guys, welcome to the new lecture of code practice and in this video we will talk about how to integrate Redis with Micronode framework. So before starting I will give you brief about what is Redis. So Redis is a in-memory key value database and which can be used as a distributed cache instead of in-memory cache. So generally we prefer when we want to have cache which is distributed in nature and as well as fast while retrieving the data so we generally prefer redis so let's start with micronote so for that we will go to micronote launch and we will download our web application so it is java 8 and the app name will be redis demo app and this is the default package we will download our zip and we will open this project right so you can see the dependencies are getting downloaded now this is the normal app which is web app which is basically provided by micronote right now we need redis dependency which will provide us the driver to connect to that database and the client right to the redis server so for that what we need is this dependency and we will add this in our build.gradle so it is io.micronode.redis micronode-redis lettuce so if you see there are multiple third party companies like lettuce and uh, jadis is there which provides as the client to connect to the redis server so micronode collaborates with lettuce and provides as the client to connect with the redis server right now we have the dependency so we have all the classes which we need to inject and to connect to the server now we need the configuration like on which server we want to connect so now we will define that uri so it is on local it is redis local host if you are using elastic cache on amazon then you can provide your uh, redis cluster uri here and the SSL will be false for local and timeout will be let's say 30 seconds right so we have added the dependent uh, configuration for the ready server now we will make our controller so in controller we will expose two endpoints one is the post endpoint and one is the get endpoint to connect with the to connect and we will insert that data into the our redis database so to run the redis database i have this docker desktop and this is the redis 6 alpine image which is used to run docker image for redis so i will start this and you can see it is running right and now in my controller i will annotate with this introspected and controller and I will define redis endpoint name right now what we will do I will add the dependency which will provide us the methods and the client to insert into the database right so for that what we need is private stateful redis connection so if you see this is the redis cluster as well and the redis connection now we have only single redis server so we are using this class only and if let's say we have three uh, we have a redis cluster of three nodes then we can go for the redis cluster connection right now we will do the dependency injection using the constructor injection and here we will define our endpoint and which will be post and let's name this as put and the method name will be insert into caching right now what we will do i will say redis dot if you see it provides a reactive you can follow the reactive approach as well and you can now what we are doing is we are simply inserting into a uh, database in a sync manner okay let's 
let's insert into the database and we won't don't want to perform any other operation we are making it as a blocking code right so we will name it as redis commands and now redis command will provides the set method if you see string key value so i am using this method and i am saying name will be maybe channel name will be code practice right so these all uses by default behind the scenes hash map and the map structure which is basically the uses the hashing behind the scenes and the complexity for the get call is always kind of o1 which generally depends on the size as well right so it is best when you want to have indexing then you generally hashing is done and that's why the uh, uh, all the ready, uh, these hashing structures uses behind the scenes the cache for the for the cache purpose the hash map hashing techniques and now this is done we have inserted our key and so let me annotate this with http response of string type and we will say is http response dot okay and i am saying new object mapper dot write value as string and it could be now we will throws json processing exception data inserted into cache successfully right so and also let's name it as consumes and media type dot application json and produces media type dot application json now let's run this application our redis server is running on local and let's see if we faces any error or our endpoint is working fine or not now our application has been running is running on 8080 now let's type this and this is our endpoint if we see local host 8080 redis and put right and now i will define the header header will be content type which we have defined the consumes application json and we will hit this endpoint so we are getting this exception method not allowed because it is a post endpoint and we have retrieved our message which is data inserted into cache successfully means our key has been inserted right now let's make a get endpoint public HTTP response string and get key well, get value right from cache and now we will do the same thing and this command stored get so if you see this is the get and it is the key name so what what was our key name is channel name we will define here and now it will give us the value now what we will do is we will do the same thing it's just we will send our channel name value let's rerun this application so server is running on 8080 and now let's make another call and this is our redis get let's hit this so if you see we have retrieved our value which we saved in our database 
now there are some scenarios where we want to expire our redis key right generally let's say uh whatever the data i have set i want to expire it after 24 hours so every after every 20 in uh, every 24 hours i want to refresh my cache so i need to expire these values and insert into cache so but i will not take that much of time here so i will keep i want to expire this key let's say after if you see this is long seconds right so it is in seconds so let's say i am defining after 10 seconds when i am inserting into the database after 10 second it should expire and i should not retrieve any value from here let's run this application and let's go to postman let's e has been inserted into cache now let's make this get call so let's wait for 10 seconds so see we are retrieving null because the key has been expired and we are not we will not able to receive the value from the cache right so for uh, in the in the null checks as well it depends on your logic you want to handle or something you want how you are defining your expire expiration time for that particular redis key and how much time you are mentioning so you can maintain the logics for the null check so this is for this video guys i hope you you have liked this video if you like this video then please like and subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can thank you